and a war from the Bow Country is dangerous. Oh. Referee Short may count here. Nobody wants to see this thing get on a count. Now, Matt Stone, I think he likes to call that the Super Stone War. Stone comes in. Excuse me. I think he, I think right now, I think the, the adrenaline overshot it, but bottom line, he never lost his concentration, and that's what's important. Curtis gone. Now rolling back to the outside. Could be looking, and look at him. Oh, around that bottom row. Once again, that knee around that bottom row. The man of been Curtis gone like a shark that is smelling blood in the water. You see, Max Stone trying to you're trying to pull that knee pad down, trying to find some way. That knee obviously already swelling and causing a lot of discomfort to that show. When it's time to fight, you fight. And now look at that. Once again, right back to the left. You, you're a little fight. You fight like you're on the third monkey trying to get up Noah's heart right before the front hit. And right there, that's what Curtis Cole is doing right now. And another inferior and trick and screw like what? Well, I tell you this much, Matt Stone's going to have to fight like a man possessed if he wants to get back into this thing. Matt Stone now, and he stomps right in the center of that chest of the greatest gym known to man. Could be looking, could be thinking Texas Cloverly. If he turns up, and there it is, all that pressure, all that additional body weight now. He's just sitting down on it. He's just sitting down on it. For extra effect, because look at the way he's standing. The way that he's standing, there's extra room right there for a to escape. Only to sit in. But obviously effective. You can hear Matt Stone screaming, writhing in pain. It's the train, it's, this room is also known as a transfer of pain. And that's one that starts with the pain. And then guess what? When you stick out on it, it's and just a way to do it. Max, everyone get to the bottom rope. I apologize for interrupting you. Max, everyone get to the bottom rope and break this hole. Very smart there. Max still had to get out, but you got to wonder once again how much damage has been done to that knee. And that's the thing. You don't want to make the mistake that has to be earlier in Curtis Dawn trying to stay on him. I believe he took a breather there. Obviously, it was a little bit frustrated. All it took one kick to the back of that leg for that knee to give way. And look at him dragging that leg. My he just dragged that leg where he came to the court. I hate to speculate, but they're talking about an ACL and MCL injury here for the greatest shit known to man. Right now, like you said, it's like a predator. Right now. And I think he's right now. Yeah, honey, 
this should know the man, obviously, in a lot of trouble. And it looks like the man of Eight Corners God may be getting in, closing in on an ASW championship shot. Curtis coming in. Off the rope. Yes. The yellow. Yeah, the rope kill all ball connected to Quince the Knight and a back place. And you know your match goes a pretty man. He is at the top. Max Jones has got to be running on the trail. Fighting spirit like no other here at the ASW. Next show how he's able to move right now with the amount of pain he must be in, and you see him still clutching at that knee. So he, he doesn't need to be worried about the referee right now. He better capitalize on that stone. And once again, Stone trying to release some pressure. The Curtis Dodge trying. There you see. You see, Stone's will completely remove that knee pad at this point. Grasping at that knee. Curtis Don looking to take an uncharacteristic chance here. You know, you don't want to see this too out of The big man may be looking to finish things off here. Could be looking for next to Mr. Pollock. And athleticism. And notice he kicked them with the free leg, the uninjured leg. You're absolutely right. Oh, we've seen it here earlier tonight. Show looking so 